Hi, my name is Jamie Scripps and I am an ENL teacher for Rush Henrietta School District. You may have met me when you brought your child in to be tested. Today, I'm going to be speaking about progress reports. First, we're going to speak about the elementary progress report. Each student is an individual. Each child is different. And each child acquires skills at their own speed. So when you see a progress report, that progress report will be charting each child's individual growth over time. They will receive these progress reports four times a year. And these reports will be placed in school tool. It is important to remember that your child, your English language learner, they need time to learn the language. They need time to be able to achieve the same things that their native English speaking classmates can do. So it takes one to three years just to master being able to speak in conversations, getting that English that's enough to have conversations, one to three years. Now, children also need academic language. That is the language that is used in the classroom. That can take longer. That can take five to seven years to acquire. So we know that we really need to give our English language learners time to learn the language. So when we look at their progress reports, we want to be looking at their progress. Are they improving? Are their scores going up? Instead of focusing on their scores, because until they learn enough language, they probably will not receive scores like the other children in their classes who have been speaking English for their whole life. Now on the elementary progress report, they will get scores for math, reading, writing, listening, speaking, science, and social studies. They will also receive scores for music, visual arts, and physical education. And you will see comments about their behavior and any other comments about their progress that the teacher will want you to know about. When you look at the progress report, you will notice that your child will receive scores from one to four. Now, a three, a three is the level that we want all students to reach. A three means they are doing exactly what is expected. They are meeting expectations. If they get a four, that means they are doing what is expected and can even do more than that. If they get a two, that means that they're almost there, they're partially getting the skills, but they need teacher support. If they get a one, that means that they are not mastering those skills and they need a lot of teachers' support to get there. Now, it is important to note that entering an emerging English language learners, when they're just starting to learn the language and they don't speak much English, very often you will see them getting a one or a two. When students reach transitioning or expanding, then you will see them getting a two, a three, or possibly a four. Again, what is the most important point is that they are progressing. So you want to see them move from a one to a two in, during the year. You want to see them move from a two to a three. Okay. Now in grades seven through 12, they also receive progress reports four times a year. But now they receive scores based on zero to 100. Okay? And their grades might be based on tests, 
quizzes, papers, projects, homework, and participation. And the teachers will provide the students with an explanation of how that grade will be determined. Okay. So for 7th through 12th grade, 65 to 100, that's a passing grade. Below 65, that is not passing. This is important to remember because from ninth grade through 12th grade, a child needs to pass their class to get the credits for taking that class. So it's very important to keep track of those scores. But again, remember, if they are just learning the language, we are not expecting them to be at a 90. But what we are expecting them to do is to keep progressing higher and higher. And we want to look more at how much effort, how much work are they doing? Are they completing their assignments? Are they showing up for class? Those things are what is go are going to make them progress. Okay. All English language learners will also receive an ELL progress report. This report is given to you by the ENL teacher, the English as a new language teacher. This report charts their progress in English language skills of listening, speaking, reading, and writing. On this report, you will find your child's ENL level entering, emerging, transitioning, expanding. Now, next to their ENL level, you will see the skills that are expected for the level in which they are. If you don't know your ENL, your child's ENL level, your child's ENL teacher should have sent you a letter in the beginning of the school year letting you know what their level was for this year. If you're not sure, please ask your child's ENL teacher and they will be happy to let you know. So once you find their level, next to that you will see the skills in listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Those are the skills that are expected for that level. And then you will see numbers from one to four. That will tell you how your child is doing with these skills in English. So a one means they need a lot of teacher's help. A two means they need some teacher's help. A three means they need a little bit of teacher's help, but they're starting to really get that skill. And a four means that they can do that skill independently without any help. Now I'm just going to show you some information from Rush Henrietta School District. You can check your email for e-news from the district or from the building principal. Also, rhnet.org, that is our district website and you can find a lot of information about what is happening at Rush Henrietta there. You may have been receiving some phone calls from Rush Henrietta. If you see Rush Henrietta on your phone, please answer it. It will be important information. Also, if you like to go on Facebook, Rush Henrietta does have a Facebook page at Rush-Henrietta CSD. You may be somebody who uses Twitter. Your child's teacher may have a Twitter account, and you can find our superintendent at Lawrence Bo W R I G one on Twitter. So thank you very much. We look forward to working with your child and your family this year. And please, if you have any questions, please ask your child's teacher, ask their ENL teacher, and they will be more than happy to help you. Thank you. Have a nice day.